Sensor Technician Barnaby report to Hangar Bay 3, staff. Hello everybody, this is Intrepid83 and welcome back to Let's Play Star Wars X-Wing Alliance. All right, okay, I think thanks. you are needed in the ready room, so get moving! <laughs> yeah, just give me a second here. MK. All right, let's take a look, see if we've got any new mail, email, and we did. All right. Uh, that was the last one we saw. Yeah. All right. From Anton. Hey, Uncle Anton, you deserve it. There's no adequate way to express my appreciation to you for having rescued me from the Varaxo. The Jarkai dueling swords I had sent to you meant a great deal to me. I gave them to you so that you will always be reminded of my gratitude, Uncle Anton. Thanks, Uncle Anton. I'll take a, moment, take a look at them in a second. And he sent again, employees. The surviving employees and cargo vessel captains on the Azamine payroll have been given leave for an undetermined period. They, ha they have all been compensated fairly and contact will be maintained. Ho hopefully, they will be back with us soon, Uncle Anton. Yeah. Hopefully, all this stuff can get sorted out, uh, sorted out eventually. Commander Devers, uh-oh. Not enough action. <laughs> I guess life as a fighter pilot is too soft for you, Asbeen. You had to go home to practice combat in combat maneuvers? I'll see if I can rustle some rustle up something for you around here. Commander Devers. Oh boy. I wonder what he's got for us. And there's the Anton's uh, dueling swords. Youch, those would hurt. Get from Uncle Antine for saving his life. It is rumored that the duel that he dueled a famous prince for from Jarkai to get them. Wow. Apparently he's quite the swordsman. I've actually gotten a few things here. Uh, I think do we already see this. Uh, very rare, very illegal beverage from one of the Forbidden Zones. Iman scored this bottle during the clash with the loose cannon smugglers. Not sure if we actually saw that. Yes, we've been uh, Tauntaun Splash Splash on Cologne. Imported from Hoth, this Cologne has never made much much progress on the galactic market. No one on your in your family seems to know how it got into your cabin. <laughs> I guess maybe one of our... Uh, Flight mates is trying to play a joke on us, but the uh, the whole Tauntaun situation. But anyways, I hear they they aren't exactly the the best smelling creatures. But anyways, drink shit. Yeah, we saw that. I think we got that from when did we get it? Yeah, from Iman when yeah uh, when he took us out for the uh, uh, the drink and never happened. And Imperial Tide read splendid piece of the type cockpit that was once piloted by your first kill. No parts of the Imperial pilot were found amongst the debris. <laughs> Maybe ejected? I don't know. Alright, I think we've got everything else. So, alright. Let's go see what Commander Devers has rustled up for us. So far, our supply strike strategy is working. The Imperials have shifted their operations to defending their convoys and remote units against our attacks. We now need some hard data on their search efforts. You and a wingman will do a flyby on an Imperial search force to collect important data on their makeup and what methods they are using to contact us. We suspect they may be seeding the area with probe droids. After what happened at Hoth, we all know how effective those units can be. Destroy any and all probe droids you encounter. Commander Devers, the briefing if you will. We know that Admiral Holtz has deployed several search groups in the system. We've prepared a flight plan that should bring you into contact with one of these groups. A-Wing Blue will leave the Calamari Cruiser Defiance and proceed through several systems deemed likely locations for the Imperial search efforts. After contact, obtain an ID on all Imperial ships in the group. We also believe that the search group is seeding the system with probe droids. Your secondary objective is to destroy them. Once you've completed your mission, return home to the Defiance. All right, so it sounds like he has literally wrestled something up so that we would face we know that Admiral Holt has resistance. All right, this is our first time in an A-Wing. Dozen missiles, let's go. Let's go see what the Empire's up to. Where's my wingmates? There they are. I guess we scared them all away. <laughs> 
Yeah, I'm not detecting anybody either. Let's check out the next one. I'm detecting strike two. This one's empty. Same on this side here. All right. Let's check out the last one. Think we'll get lucky. Jackpot. Well, looks like we found what we've been looking for. We've spotted the search group. Let's get this thing. Let's make this quick and get out of here. This is one. I'm under heavy fire. Go ID the search group. I'll cover you. I'm on it. Half of the search group has been inspected. Let's hurry it up. Imperial training seems a bit lax. And there's the man hey, in the hole. There's a bandit on your tail. Roger that. The corruptor is here. That's Holt's command ship. Indeed it is. I'm under heavy fire over here. Jack up another one. Hmm. Oh, hello. Yeah. Thanks. Thinking maybe to try taking it out. No. A corruptor is things. launching probes. This is one. I need assistance fast. Destroy them, Blue Two. I'm on it. Any one of those probes could locate our task force. You're on your own. I can't stay any longer. Hopefully, hopefully it hits the probe, but it's probably gonna hit the Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> probably get me in the range of being jammed. Go into the engine launch. Probably don't need to do that. Let's transfer some energy from my shields into my lasers when I need them. Secondary target update. They've been destroyed. Nice shooting. Report on secondary target. They've been destroyed. More enemy starfighters are launching to engage us. Any 
more? Yes, there is. Cerebus. Yep. Should be going faster than them. I am. Need the shield, sir. too fast for me. So small. Still missed it. Got it, finally. It's close. Those guys free to ah. Okay, time to get here. home. Hopefully, Intel can use some of the information we've obtained. I hate leaving so much candy on the table there, but I'm likely one shot from destruction. Ah, I'm gonna regret this. I may regret this. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, if I wasn't one shot there, then I'm pretty close otherwise. Oh boy. I'm gonna have to remember to let the Emon and Aaron know about this. Trying to get me time off when I've only done one mission <laughs> with our rebellion. Uh well, I guess technically I did the the training as well, but Throwing me under the bus, I tell you, throwing me under the bus. <laughs> Not intentionally, I'm sure, but just... I'm not going to be around all the time, so... I have to get used to it for a while. Until things get sorted out. With the war, that is...
Sir. Excellent job. With the loss of those probe droids, the Imperials will be hard-pressed to maintain constant coverage on the surrounding systems. By the time they are resupplied, we should have already made our escape. We've reviewed the data from those ships. It appears that Admiral Gareth Holtz is personally leading the search efforts. From what we know, Holtz is a competent officer who is not accustomed to failure. Let's hope your latest success puts a black mark on his record. <laughs> All right. And there we go. Alright. So, as far as that mission goes, uh, for bonuses, I'll have them listed in the video description. There's one thing I'm changing with regards to the, uh, that I've changed with regards to the bonuses. I get the feeling, uh... All pilots must assemble in the briefing room immediately. Be right there. But yeah, uh, if you're able to destroy any of the Corvettes, like the Badlands, the Malice, etc., I believe they give you 500 points each. Uh, the Dreadnought Vigilance would give you a thousand points, and the, uh, the, the, the Cerebus would have given you a thousand points as well. Uh, keep in mind, the Cerebus does have those two shield generators on top and on the bottom that you'd have to destroy first. Or, you don't have to, but it would definitely make things a lot easier to take them out first before taking it out. And uh, the, dre the, the Vigilance, I believe, does not have any shield generators on it whatsoever, so you'd have to literally just tank through it, like just brute force your way through it kind of thing if you were to take it on. So yeah, as far as the uh, the Star Destroyer goes, I do not believe there's any bonuses associated with that. So yeah, so basically just 500 points for each of the uh, Corvettes and 1,000 each for the uh, the Dreadnought and the for the Vigilance and the Cerebus. So yeah. In any case, sounds like something's come up uh, with the Rebellion again, so I guess we'll have to head on to, into the Ready Room next time. And uh, we'll see what awaits us, and we'll definitely uh, make sure we check our email quickly before we do that. But uh, then again, depending on how in, how uh, uh, can, uh, depending on the importance of it, I guess you could say. Uh, I guess we'll to, if they start making a, a big noise about it, then we'll jump in right away. But uh, other than that, I think we'll probably just quickly check our email and then run right up to the ready room next time. This is Intrepid83 signing, th signing off. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, remember to hit the like button, subscribe, and share. Uh, remember to hit the bell icon to be notified when I upload the next video. And should you not be notified or if you're just interested in uh, keeping up to date on any channel updates, you can always follow my feed at twitter.com slash intrepid83. Take care, be blessed, and have a good one, and may the Force be with you.